This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Now in its seventh year, talk like you've never heard it before. Until midnight tonight, yay! And hello again here on a a Wednesday night uh, for a a Christmas week. Uh, Christmas is at the end of this week, and we hope you're all getting ready for it because Christmas is at our throats again, and you've got to get those gifts for the kids, which are not available, and you've got to get them all bought by Friday night, which is very, very soon, and the pressure is on, and uh, I... So glad I'm Jewish. Anyway, (laughs) every year I had an excuse. Oh, I didn't get you a present. Why? Well, because uh, it's, uh, you know, I'm Jewish, right? Of course, every year when when Christmas time came around, I had my birthday on the 18th, and my parents used to give me tons of presents for my birthday. Spoiled kid. Christmas came along. What happened? I got tons of more gifts, okay? So I had like a double larder of gifts every single year at this time. So I was a very lucky kid. They didn't skimp at all on the presents, all right? So I just want you to know I didn't get screwed. Now, a lot of Jewish kids did, so, you know. But uh, then they got their Hanukkah gifts, which are not as good as Christmas gifts. I mean, Christmas gifts, you go and you buy big stuff, you know, Hanukkah gifts are like, uh, oh, I know, here's an orange. It's the first day of Hanukkah, right? There are eight days of Hanukkah, so an orange. And the next day, it's like, uh, oh, I bought you a subscription to Collier's. Oh, do you, anybody remember Collier's? I'll bet, uh, I'll bet uh, uh, our, uh, our guest here that is going to be popping in any minute now remembers uh, that. Okay, let me see here. I gotta, I've got to uh, change the view here. Every time I come in, you know, things change a little bit, and uh, we got to, all righty, I think we got it. Now, let me see here. What do I push? There, we push that button. I'm forgetting all this. I'm, I'm getting loopy, as it were, Phil. Yeah, yeah, it's probably the drugs you're taking, but. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's the drugs hey, I'm taking. What, what all this talk of Christmas and presents, so what did you get me and the rest of the uh, people on GabNet? You know, uh, uh, are you just sending us GabNet bucks, or uh, you know? Uh, well, I I, I I decided to live this year. <laughs> well, you know, uh, Santa uh, came and he uh, what did he bring me? What did he oh, bring? What? What's oh, that? What's that? He he brought me uh, an Alex Bennett doll. <laughs> hey. Oh really? Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Where'd yeah. you get that? Uh, my it was my dogs. <laughs> yeah. It was your dogs. Yeah, it was. Uh, what one kind of, of perverted toys. puppy did you have? Well, it was a little puppy, but she used to lay on this thing. Really? She liked it. She called really? it monkey. <laughs> yeah, right. I called it monkey. Yeah. But uh, uh, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, I got I got squad. I haven't even gone shopping for uh, this year. I hope nobody's going to get upset. I'm going to give the employees money, and uh, Faye, if I get around to it, she gets plenty of credit. Every year, I have to go out and uh, pay off the uh, people who work in this building. Yeah, yeah. And and since when I was working at Sirius XM, every year I took it upon myself to do the tipping. But now I'm not working, and I'm still doing the tipping. (laughs) Yeah, well, you know, it's uh, it's kind of important because you won't get service the rest of the year. The super, if you yeah. don't tip him, the mailman, all of a sudden the mail won't show up. I saw the, mail, I saw the, the mailman address. yesterday. I gave him a 20. Uh, yeah. I'm giving my super 300. I'm giving each of his assistants 50 bucks a piece. I think that's okay, right? Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, three hundred is probably high. You know, probably, but it's, it's more than some people pay him in this building. Some people don't pay him at all. No, I, I would imagine. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, it's um, so I'm very you happy, know. you know. But anyway, um, so I, you know, I have to pay that out, you know. Well, this is the time of year. And I, by and the way, yesterday I went to Costco, 
It yeah. was out of my cash. How much did you have to pay them? Well, out of my cash money, yeah. I bought a 32-inch uh, uh, high-resolution monitor for 200 oh. bucks. Some, uh, 200 bucks 200 bucks uh, what is it um, uh, I, IPS uh, uh, I, I have a, a monitor uh, it's uh, special for pho photography it's uh, IPS or something well, this is IPS too yeah okay 200 bucks 200 bucks yeah, this and, Dell and, I paid 1200 bucks for about five six years ago yeah yeah well I mean they've the price have come down on these things but yeah. anyway, so I, I, I went, I bought this and I went and oh, put it on some money. You know, for me, I'm on a fixed income. I'm, it's costing me money, right? Yeah. Have and you then started I, then when, the the day when I thought about what I was tipping the people in the building, I said, yeah, I could have bought two more monitors for that. <laughs> and you should. You, you know, I, I've only got one 32-inch monitor, but I would like two or three monitors uh, uh, across. Well, this I way. bought this. I, what happened is I bought this uh, Mac Mini. Which is incredible. Yeah. The pow I mean, it's only got, it's only got eight what gigs of um, random yeah. access memory, okay, and it's yeah. got a, a five, uh, one hundred, uh, two hundred and fifteen, uh, two hundred fifty, uh, six uh, gigs of uh, of RAM, okay. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. RAM? Oh, and, I thought you had and, eight. And this thing takes everything I can throw at it. Yeah. I mean, I I'm running. The Zoom and the uh, the OBS at the same time, and I went online and tried that, and the CPU usage is down to almost n less than it is here. Wow, is it a dual core or four it's, it's core? A, I think it's something like, believe it or not, I think these things are sixteen core. Sixteen. Well, because core. because it's this M1 chip. Uh huh. And it's got an incredible amount. Of, I, I'll have to go look. I don't. I'm not sure about that, but I read somewhere it's sixteen core. Yeah, I, I'm still happy with my trash can. Well, yeah, well, yeah. I'm thinking of getting rid of the trash can, yeah. putting out about 1600 bucks, getting the really loaded up Mac Mini and replacing that with this with, with, Mac, this with the Mac Mini. I'm, shh, I'm not, I'm not going to I'm not going to let you go. I'm going to put you somewhere. Don't worry. I'm just talking. <laughs> you know, the uh, uh, the trash can's worth, I don't know, between a thousand or the one you've got is probably worth about 1500 mm -hmm. right now. Yeah. And you pay three grand. Yeah. Uh, yeah, mine I paid two grand. It's only the six core. But, uh, yeah, it's it's working. It doesn't give me any Well, problems. I see what I've got still selling for about three grand on eBay. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I was looking, I looked on eBay, uh, you know, just to see what it was worth. Well, I'm, having, a tr I'm having trouble with this trash can lately because USB, some USB stuff isn't showing up. But I, I think when I go on our little break, I'm going to do something. I think I can just reset something by pulling out the plug for 15 seconds, and it resets everything. You know? Do you uh, – uh, the things that aren't showing up, are they – show are they plugged into a usb yeah you uh, think they're not plugged in directly to the computer right no i have found that when something doesn't show up that i need to show up mm -hmm. if i plug it directly into the computer usb i don't have a problem yeah but what happens if you maybe unplug that strip and then replug it in and take all the electricity out and put the audio I, I i haven't tried that yeah i see that's probably would fix it too but the other thing, well, we, this is not a technical program, folks, but there's a thing called an SM something or another, and uh, you just simply reset that by turning off the machine, pulling the plug out for about 15 seconds, putting it back in, not to, powering it up for about 10 seconds, powering it up, and supposedly it'll clear out all that USB, USB problems. So. Oh. Oh, so we'll see. I don't know. Yeah. If well, not, know if we'll not I'm, if you don't fix yourself, damn it, uh, I'm going to have to, uh, uh, you know, uh, get another Mac Mini and get rid of you. Okay. So that, should, <laughs> that should make it. Uh, yeah. Well, because you know, I those... honestly believe machines understand what I say to them. Yeah. Well, and so do pets. Hmm. Yeah. So do dogs, you know. So yeah. I was thinking today, I thought I would make, you know, it's Christmas time. What's the only present I could give Phil? <laughs> right and i'm thinking and i said well some of the th i could probably uh, give him some of the thoughts i've been thinking lately like really how disappointing biden is 
Well, I, I'm starting to like him. You know, he's he's keeping all his promises. Not that, not that uh, I uh, I I would prefer Trump, but yeah. I mean, I'm just you know what I'm sick of. I got to tell you this. Uh, the trouble is he's old. Okay, yeah. and and I can say that because I'm older than he is. But Trump's not that much younger than uh, than Biden was. Okay, but anyway, he's old. Yeah. No, Trump is about uh, four years younger, I think, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty close. Well, at this age, that's not close. You know, well, you a know, couple of years make all the difference. I can tell you that. Well, when you're when you're young and you're a freshman in high school, and the other uh, gal is a senior, mm -hmm. and she doesn't want anything to do with you, that's that's a big age difference. Yeah. But when you're 80 and the other guy's 76 or 77, that's not so bad. Yeah. You know. Well, anyway, so uh, uh, the problem that I have with Biden is, is that he is old. He yeah. acts it. OK, yeah. he acts it. He's, he's he's looking feeble. Yeah. Now, he and may he, be good at making decisions. And I don't he, think so. Well, I think he is. OK, you I know. think he's probably what still. What decisions has he made uh, that uh, has uh, that has really been a, a positive worthwhile decision was his decision well he's, been, he's been, he pulled out in afghanistan not listening to his generals was that a good one i don't know that his generals were saying don't pull out but he 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 put forget about that for a second okay uh, all right uh, look, uh, look look i every president's going to make mistakes okay yeah. uh uh, but some of them aren't going to drag us into the mire like, excuse me, I don't want, I don't like using the that muck term. and mire, the muck and mire, <laughs> right. like Trump did. I mean, he so disrespected the United States and that position that he, he you know, he had to take it as a, a personal uh, larder for him, you know. But anyway, let me let me finish what I was saying. Mm -hmm. I think the problem with Biden is he looks kind of doddering. Yeah, uh, I don't care what anybody says. Still better than what we had, okay? But uh, he is on TV every single goddamn day, giving one speech or another uh, and uh, looking doddering every time he does it. Rather than say, let's say you got something with agriculture you're doing. Send your agriculture secretary out there. You're doing something with the interior. Send your secretary of the interior out there. But he goes out every day, and he's making all these pronouncements. Got things to do about uh, about uh, 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 COVID? Uh, get your guy who's in charge of medicine, you know, in the CDC or something out there. In other words, put other people in front. Do your job in the back. But every day he's on, day in, day out, you know? Well, it's it's just that he has been challenged because he was in the background, especially during the uh, primaries, uh, and and no, the, there was a there was a, a there was a pandemic going on. Still is. Uh, now he was just exposed to COVID. Uh, no, he wasn't. Uh, yeah, no, uh, he was Thirty minutes on uh, on the on the plane, I believe. He was exposed to COVID. Uh, and he tested a negative. Well, it was actually Kamala Harris's assistant or something who had it. Oh, okay. Well, there was somebody. Yeah, no, it wasn't. It wasn't. It, it wasn't. They never put the vice president and the president on the same plane. Well, I believe that I, what I heard in the news. What was I heard. What I heard was it was Kamala Harris's one of her assistants who's with her every single day, and okay. he came down with COVID. And they tested her, and she tested negative, and they're mm -hmm. going to test her again on Friday and make sure she's test negative again, okay? Yeah. All well, right. you know, one of your long-term listeners uh, is suffering from COVID right now. Who's it's that? Paul, Paul Jung. Uh, he, he writes in, and he listens to your show religiously. What's his problem? And, Didn't he get the, the uh, shots? Uh, yeah, yeah, I believe he got the shots, but he, uh, he told me today— uh, he, he wrote me and said that uh, it must be the Omicron because he, he says it's like a terrible uh, cold. Yeah, it, what's happening with Omicron, and, and it's good that he got it. I, yeah. I hate to say that, but it's good he got it because he's not going to die from it. 
He's yeah. going to, you know, it, this is very effective against Omicron. It's just that you can still have a breakthrough. But if you get the breakthrough, that's kind of good news in a way. Because what happens is on the other side, you're more than taken care of when it comes to immunity to it. You know, how come the CDC is not publishing uh, the numbers of people that have natural immunity? What, what is this? This natural immunity, they're really not recognizing it in this country. Well, uh, how, do you, how do you discuss and, and figure out what well, natural Charlie, immunity Char is? Charlie posted something. He said that there was, um, uh, how many, uh, the death count was at 812. Oh, and by the way, by the way, oh, somebody, oh, by the way, Charlie Wallace mentions here, and it's very true, yeah. and he'll probably ream you out for it in a couple of minutes. Uh, he said Trump made the decision to pull out of Afghanistan. Yeah, but he left 2,500 troops and everything was going fine. Um, look, uh, Charlie no, says... No, he had 2,500 troops there, and they, he was going to take all of them out by date certain, which is the date that, uh, oh, that, that he pulled them uh, wrong. I, I don't want to get on that track right now, but what he did say was that uh, it depends uh, the... That date can be moved based on uh, what's going on in the ground. Uh, anyway, uh, total COVID cases, 51,536,964 mm -hmm. per Charlie. Mm -hmm. So COVID cases, you got 51 million COVID cases, and those are in the U.S., I believe. So that means that a, a really good percentage of uh, people have contracted COVID in this country. Do those people have natural immunity? Uh, that's 51. I, I don't million. think there's any way to figure that one out. Well, you know, like I didn't get it, but did I? And I didn't get it before the shots were out, right? I didn't right. get it. Now, I, maybe I have a natural immunity, but maybe I don't. Do I yeah. want to find out? Not well, particularly. Well, maybe I'm saying the wrong thing. Maybe it's antibodies. Maybe uh, I had the antibodies. Maybe you know, I the, the small... and and the fifty-one million that contracted COVID have some sort of COVID antibody, but supposedly uh, and those, those, those antibodies alone are really not very good in the long haul. Okay, well, that's you know, what they say. That's what they say because there are so many variants that you may you may you may have an immunity towards uh, Delta, but now you don't have an immunity towards Omicron. Well, we don't have a vaccination against Delta or Omicron yet. Uh, they're saying that the vaccinations that we've taken uh, will suppress uh, major symptoms with those breakouts. But mm -hmm. uh, if if people have this these antibodies because they contracted COVID, mm -hmm. it, it's like uh, you know, kid gets uh, chicken pox or uh, measles, and they don't get it again because. They have that natural, is it immunity? No, they just don't get them because they, they, they're now immunized against them. But right, that, right. Yeah, but, that, so but you're, talking, you're talking about mumps and measles. You're talking about entirely different subset of, this is a different kind of virus. immunity. It's a different kind of virus. Measles is, are measles a virus? I'm not sure. Yeah. But I do know that there's different. 51 it's million different. people per Charlie yeah. That, that have contracted it. And how come th those people are not being included in, in the vaccination status? Is it because Big Pharma and Joe Biden wants to put no, a shot? No, because as I said to you just a moment ago, we don't know who has a natural immunity and who doesn't have a natural immunity. Well, natural immunity and, and, and having had COVID, uh, the people that had COVID, now have the immune, you know, now have uh, antibodies, and how come those people aren't as as protected or uh, considered vaccinated the way somebody that takes a shot in the arm is? Because it's not the same. It's not the same as the vaccination. It, it, it may not it, be it, as good. What if they, they got don't, They don't Johnson? know. They've never known during this whole thing whether because you catch, uh, there have been people that got COVID, yeah. Figured they didn't need anything, they didn't need a shot, didn't need anything, and they got it right. again. Well, there are people that got shots that got it again. The, 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 no, but they got a lesser uh, uh, case yeah. of it. 
But the fact is, there were people that had uh, thought that they were immune because they had the, the antibodies in them, and it didn't do crap for them, and they got it again just as bad. And remember, they wanted to use the blood of people that had, uh, had COVID uh, because they felt that there were antibodies in their blood and they could make uh, a vaccine. Or, Supposedly, uh, that was wrong. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway. Said, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um, uh, you know, I don't know. You know, you got 51 million people that, that got sick mm -hmm. and I they're not doing a study to see if any of those 51 million people got COVID again and or if they did get vaccinated or not. Uh, you know, I, I'm just wondering why is that statistic being ignored? Maybe because it's a statistic that's very hard to come by. Well, and come also, by. I mean, it's a lot of work to go do that with all the people who've already come down with COVID and survived it. Yeah. You know, so, it's a lot of work. You uh, know, what they do, what they do usually when they find out uh, whether uh, certain things are true or not true is they're all based upon. Excuse me, I'm going to sneeze here. Hold on. Yeah. I don't want to sneeze. I don't want to sneeze. Mm. Well, you have a sneeze button? Mm -hmm. uh, well, I can close the, I can cl turn this down. Yeah. Then you can sneeze. Wow. You're a sneezer. Oh, yeah, I am. Yeah. Uh, hey, these uh, are al it's allergies, by the way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's winter in New York. Uh, you got snow on the ground? No. Is it cold? No. No. No, I don't have I don't have snow on the roof either. Really? <laughs> there, it's 45 to 50 degrees out here. It is cold. Really? It was cold here today too. Yeah. Uh, I went out and it was it was not it was not fun. Yeah. Okay. My exercise sessions are outdoors. And uh, so I went to REI and I bought uh, uh, stuff that was warmer to wear yeah but uh yeah. you know when it's raining i really don't feel like going they'll they'll modify the exercise routine and do a few things inside but it, it's cold yeah uh, i'm going tomorrow morning 5 30 a.m now we uh, could bring somebody in here who knows a little bit about this do you want me to bring in charlie and alan because alan c keeps up with all this crap sure you know they you might find out you're wrong but you know, I, I'm asking the question. I don't know that I'm wrong. Yeah. Hey, Big Al. And there's uh, there's Charlie. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Hey, Charlie. How you doing? Hi. Yeah. Okay. So who wants to take off after Phil? <laughs> <laughs> I I, I want to know why those people that have contracted the 51 million people that Charlie pointed out they had contracted uh, COVID. How come uh, they're not looking to see what the statistics are and those people that didn't take the shot? I, I So I can answer that for you. In medicine, if you get the shot or you get the COVID, you have natural immunity. Oh, okay. You're, That's you're, what I you're, so, they, so they are counting. They, they, they're not counting the people that haven't. You're right. They haven't. They, they're, they're not counting the people. That, that haven't got the shot, that have just got COVID and recovered from it. Right. But why, why count them? Because they know that the immunity doesn't last very long. And, they, and if they got Delta, they're not immune to Omicron. Right. Well, the reason I... And the vaccine, the vaccine protects you from both and other things too. Now, it may not protect as well from Omicron, but Omicron is not... Uh, you know, it's not as big a deal as Delta. Well, the reason I ask is that they say to reach herd immunity, we got to be up around 80. We're or, never going to reach herd immunity. Well, it's just not going to happen. So the statistic that they're using omits those that had COVID. And no, it so, doesn't, um, Phil. No, it doesn't at all. It doesn't, you're right. It doesn't them. admit them at all. You're totally wrong. No, it, it's it's not counting. It's not counting them. The only as, statistic, as, Phil, as as, women. I'm not counting them as vaccinated, but they are counting them as far as herd immunity is concerned. Yes. Because they're saying that they have to have. Phil, well, you've just eight, had your eight, question eight, eight, answered eight, to eight, for you. Uh, I know it's not been answered. It, it's been skirted <laughs> over. It, it's oh, it's, a, it's, oh, a it's a democratic been... rouse. A ruse. No. no, it's not. <laughs> Skirt away, guys. Go ahead, tell them. 
So. No, it's not. It, it, you know, it's not a Democratic or Republican thing. It's it's a it's a, a, a somebody that's not informed. Phil. Well, it's very nice that Biden, who you know, uh, Alex is doesn't care for. As no, much I didn't say part. I don't care for him. I'm just saying. Has, has, I'm has, saying has, that he. I, we could use a little less of him on TV because okay. he does not present a good image. Well, that's what do you because think? Because he doesn't know how to tweet. What do you think about the fact? What do you think about the fact that Biden complimented Trump? Uh, was it today or yesterday on uh, introducing the vaccine to uh, to this country and getting it through as quickly as he did? Wow, that would be a uh, Biden must have hit his head or something if that well, happened. He's taking maybe a different. I haven't path. heard him do that, but I didn't hear him do I. that either. I, I heard it, and uh, the send, send me a link. Push- yeah, well, okay. I, I didn't see it on uh, thing on thing. I saw oh, it on TV. Oh, oh, oh. Where well, you probably saw it on Fox News because I have yeah, the, the the Truth Network. The Truth Network. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know the Truth that Network that, is killing Republicans because it's still trying to keep people from getting vaccinated. Uh, yep. That's not true. Where you know you don't listen to Fox. How do you know that they are trying to keep people from being vaccinated? I see that the uh, the. Uh, post on 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 youtube i see the the clips on youtube the show so if there's a clip on youtube it must be true (laughs) it's a picture of them saying it it's a movie of them saying it yeah it's true that they said it it, it, you're kind of you're kind of old-fashioned uh here uh uh charlie calling it a movie (laughs) i was i was i was I was searching for the right word. That happens sometimes when you get to be my age. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, me too. Uh, speaking of age, speaking of age, uh, anybody see watch uh, being the Ricardos? I saw an advertisement for them on uh, YouTube yeah. today. Uh, it's a, a a film by Aaron Sorkin yeah. about Lucy and Desi doing an episode of I Love Lucy and then pretty much telling the story of their life through that. And... Mm-hmm. Uh, Marjorie made the remark, she said, I don't think it's going to do very well because the younger audience doesn't even remember what I Love Lucy was. I think uh, a, a lot of people uh, you know, grew and, up on that. And a lot of people that came to this country no, from other no, no, countries no, no. I'm learned about, how to speak I'm talking, learned how to speak English watching I Love Lucy. I'm talking 50 and under probably yeah. don't remember I Love Lucy. Uh, one of the things I read mm-hmm. on that was that uh, this one of the I Love Lucy episodes that was dealt with uh, in the Sorkin thing. Well, it's only uh, one episode, and I watched oh, it last night. There was something about but I watched, uh, I watched anti-Semitism. That ep- I watched that episode last oh, night. Oh, was it that Lucy uh, it was something about anti-Semitism no, they, no. they talked about? No, no. Uh, let no. me find the article. No, there was something oh, about your 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 background picture is neat. Is that your boyfriend that's beating the shit out of somebody it, it's, else? It's it's your boyfriend, uh, Alan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's uh, you know. Wait, 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 let's get back to what we were talking about. It, okay. This is what happens on Gabnet. It's what goes on behind my behind me is 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 what happens on Gabnet. You know, they, that's what they want to do to me. No. But- <laughs> Let's get back to what we were talking about. Yeah. All right. What were we talking about? Uh, we were we talking. Oh, no, no, this uh, the, this deals with uh, this deals with her being accused of being a communist by Walter Winchell during that given week, and also the fact that she became pregnant for the second time, and they had to tell the network she was pregnant. What were they going to do about it? And fighting the fact that they didn't want to hide her behind big couches and things like that, but they wanted to have her actually wear a maternity dress. And they made the, they finally in the end, by the way, they made the, uh, they made the uh, 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 decision that she could wear a maternity dress, but you couldn't use the word pregnancy on the show. You had to use the word expecting. Mm. Yeah. You know, well, so let me let me ask you something, Phil. Do you do you ever listen to Scott Gottlieb, no. Doctor Gottlieb? He he, he was uh, uh, Trump's um, guy that ran the FDA. He's all over all over TV talking about uh, medicine and COVID in particular. He's a very smart virologist, very smart. So he's also a registered Republican, lifelong Republican. 
And he says people that have got COVID and survived it have to get a vaccine because their immunity will not last. Well, and if they yeah. and, and it's just like the flu. You get a flu, right. and it doesn't mean that you're protected against other variants of the flu. Alan, does the immunity last when you get the Pfizer, Moderna, or uh, Johnson Johnson? A lot, um, yeah, absolutely. But it doesn't uh, last forever. Not forever. Well, neither does the natural immunity no, that you he, get. What he's saying is that it, it it doesn't last as long, basically. Right. And what but they're finding. Nest- uh, well, so it's I, hard to include people that have not Phil, got well, the what's shot. the point you're trying to make? Don't get a vaccination if you've uh, no, had COVID? No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm no. saying that the statistics are being skewed as to the number no, of the percent skewed. of people no, that have Im- uh, the immunity through either the vaccination or they're through experiencing skewed. COVID. They're, they're not being skewed. If the CDC is, is wrong in anything, it's mismessaging. It's the fact that they one day come and say, this is going to get you. And the next day they say, well, it doesn't look as bad. They and, learned how and, to do that while, while Trump was in power. Yeah. And, and so every day they're changing their tune, which doesn't make the confidence of the public to go right. by what the CDC says to make them confident. But the fact of the matter is that it is a terrible, terrible, terrible virus and it can kill you. And if you don't get the vaccination, the chances it's going to kill you whether you've had it before or not, is not as is not uh, not unlikely, you know. Because uh, I'm glad that I have three mm-hmm. shots, and if they want me to get line up for a fourth one tomorrow, and by the way, they're giving out fourth ones in in Europe, in Israel, yeah, and and also I think I well mm-hmm. somewhere like Norway or something like that. Bill will be first in line in the Bay Area to get the fourth shot. Yeah, so where where you gotta sign up? Yeah, no, I mean yeah. you want to do it every month to me, I'll do it. You know, if that's yeah. what it takes. Yeah, you know, it might put hair on your head, though. You know, I got a lot of other things. I'm, I'm, uh, they're going to get me. I don't want that one to get me. Okay. So, well, that's the fear that's being instilled by the media and Biden. He, you, you know, know what I don't get, folks. Can I change it? Just quickly change the sure. subject, then we can get back to this. Yeah. I, I, mean, I look at myself, and I have a gray beard, right? Yeah. What is it? What's this here? It's dark. I have the same problem. My mustache is dark right here. Top of my head. Yeah, but I mean, look at this. Uh, the whole thing beard is gray, except this. This is this is uh, you know. That's I had, groveling. I had <laughs> it's from groveling. Yeah. <laughs> and the longer I let this grow, because I've let this kind of grow out, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well. I'm no, I'm no good at growing a beard. I, I tried it once years ago, and there were spots where. Well, that, that's why I don't do here. Yeah. Because I, uh, it doesn't grow in well in here. Yeah, I have no problem doing that. My mustache doesn't get real thick, which sucks. But anyway, back to arguing. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, is oh, anybody yeah. else going to call this show tonight? God damn. Now where is everybody? What do I have to do? I know it's Christmas week, but you know. Yeah. By the way, my friend Shecky's uh, on a uh, on a cruise ship right now. Uh, uh, you know, there was a cruise ship where ten percent of the people tested positive for COVID. Mm-hmm. Oh, was it a no, um, um, uh, it's a uh, Royal Caribbean? My, Royal Caribbean. Yeah. yeah. Well, this is that isn't what Mar uh, what out, of, out of two thousand people. He's, cool, he's huh? on a he's on a um, cruise ship that only has two hundred people on it. Yeah. Uh, what part of the world is he going to? The Caribbean. He, oh. it, it's one he's taken a lot. He just does that one to just take a cruise, right? He knows you won't be there, Phil. No. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't go anywhere. I'm trapped yeah. uh, in the store. I hired a guy. He started Monday. Uh, he quit Tuesday morning. Uh, he said uh, because he worst boss it. ever. No, no, he, he said he liked us. Uh, he said, but the learning curve was going to be too great. You know, he thought he could do it. And uh, I started training him, showed him some videos, had him read a few things, uh, got him his paperwork done, got him signed up, uh, got him his email. Mm-hmm. And sure enough, the next morning he said, nah, it's not for me. Oh, it might look. be for Ray, though. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Ray Renati's out taking his walk. Yeah. It's well, beautiful you, you want to call him, so here I am. What? 
It's beautiful today, isn't it? Yeah, it's cold as hell, though. Yeah, we were just talking about that. Uh, do, uh, I thought you broke your foot or something or had an operation on your knee and you were... I did. Oh, so Four you're, months ago. You're, you're walking around now, huh? Yeah, I've been going to physical therapy two or three times a week. Yeah. Yeah, it helps a lot. I hate the physical therapy. Yeah, I, I hate, did too, I but I had surgery, the, so it's, I did it. it because it's the, I want to go to a guy who's going to make my leg better. I don't want to go to a guy who works on my leg and then an hour later says, now here's what I want you to do during the week. I'm sorry. I don't get homework for that kind of stuff. You don't have to worry you know, about it. It'll it'll fall off on its own. I didn't get my prostate seed implants and then have my doctor say, now go home and just do Kegel exercises. You know, I did, and I didn't listen to him, and now I got to pee all the time. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. So the seeds, Johnny Asshole seeds? No. 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 Oh, boy. Hello there. Jeff, how are oh, you? We, we lost Ray there for a second. No, oh, did we? Is he frozen? frozen? Yeah, he's frozen. frozen. He said it was cold. It was really uh, that cold. Uh, shit. I, did, I didn't find it particularly. Past few days has been really cold, but I, today I wore a jacket, but I was I could have gone without a jacket. I got a lot of extra comfort. I know you're going to Do they make ahead. jackets in your size, or do you have to buy? Oh, uh, Otis the jacket tent. maker. That's right. <laughs> Otis the tent maker. He makes jackets in my size. Yeah. Yeah, Santa yeah. Claus. Race back. I, think what I happened, don't know. I got spotty here. It's spotty. I, I think what happened, Phil, is your employee found out that you're a Republican, and you were making him watch Fox News nonstop, and he said, screw this. No, I actually, uh, you know, I, I bit my tongue and I was uh, totally pleasant, but I think that he was a Republican. I bet he, you, I bet you, oh, I, I bet you, I bet you, uh, uh, Phil is not this oh. much of a Republican that when it came time to letting people who come into his store know that he voted for Trump, you probably did not make that information known, did you? Well, you know, if they were Trump supporters, I did. And if they weren't, I kept my mouth shut. Yeah, what I'm so saying is you didn't have them. any sign or a picture of Trump or make America great again I, anywhere I in the I have um, uh, a lot of stuff that deals with uh, the Stephen St Stiller uh, Tunnel well, to that, Tower. That, that, that has, uh, that, uh, that's... And, you know, supporting uh, supporting veterans. There's also a well, picture. We know of you've me. always had tunnel vision. That we know. <laughs> yeah. No. But no, but then, no that that wouldn't make somebody get turned off, you know, you're you're believing in helping people, you know. Yeah. It's not oh. uh, I mean, it, in a way uh, the, t the Stephen Stiller Foundation is not particularly uh, ha doesn't have a political stance. Uh they're pretty conservative. They may be pretty conservative, but the premise of what they're doing is pretty agnostic. Yeah, you know, helping uh, veterans that have. Yeah, they're looking. Yeah. They're looking for a new CEO. I hear the pillow guy's going to fill in. I doubt it. Uh, you know, the whole foundation is nonprofit, and a uh, hundred percent of the money goes to uh, building these homes. Do you do you give money directly, or does it go through Carpet One? Both. Uh, I've given money directly, and then uh, we do it through uh, the co-op. That's good. Yeah, I went on to I went on to, to uh, 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 what do you call it? PayPal today, yeah. and I went to look for all my automatic payments because somebody was going to up again and do an automatic payment on me, and I wanted to make sure they couldn't, so I got rid of them on the yeah. list of the ones that get automatic payments. And I noticed a couple of just funds and things like that that I had just given some money to that somehow put me on automatic payment. Yeah. So I, I just, I, I just, I killed them all. I yeah. heard today, uh, today, an advertisement on the radio about a, uh, uh, it's a, um, what do you call it, a program that you can buy mm -hmm. uh, or sign up for that stops or or gets gets you in control of all your automatic things, so mm -hmm. that uh, if you don't want it, you can get rid of it. Uh, you know, I've signed well, up. I do all, all my stuff. automatic stuff. I do all my automatic stuff. The, uh, the program's called Vote Republican. Yeah. Uh, no, the automatic stuff, I, I just use 
uh, uh, what do you call it? PayPal all so the this time. Program so if I want to stop the automatic, automatic payment? payments, I go there. Yeah, you know. yeah uh, and I, I heard it advertised today. Uh, it was uh, was some station I was listening to on Sirius. And uh, 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 next time I'll write it down because I think it's a good idea. I have a bunch of apps that I signed up for, like a mm -hmm. carb counter app and things yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah, and they keep you know, charging they're, they're, you and charging you and charging 39 bucks a year. And, you know, I don't use it, and I don't even remember, you know, uh, what what they were. But yeah. I get charged for them. Yeah. And, and I don't remember how I paid for them either. Wouldn't and, it be nice if you had paid in advance and were having ammo deliveries to you? No, well, I, I did this thing. I, went, I, I signed up for this thing called P-O-L-S. It cost me 39 bucks to sign up for it so I could get somebody to come out to the house and fix something. Okay. Yeah. So they sent me a thing today and say, we're going to re-up you on the first, uh, on, the, on January 22nd or something like that. And I'm going, well, I don't want that. So I go to their site and there's nowhere to stop it. Nowhere to stop it. So I went to YouTube and just said, stop paying them. <laughs> you know, uh, you know sometimes no automatic you, renewals for you, pal. Sometimes what you can do, if you put it on a credit card, you can challenge the... the yeah, um, but this is easier. Because here, yeah, of if, uh, here, if I did it once, and they're going to do it over and over and over again, but what got me mad about this PULS uh, is that they, there was nowhere on their site where I could opt out of them doing it for another year, you know? It's like that on Match.com, too. It makes it real hard. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Once you sign up, you got to really dig to figure out how to get off of that. <laughs> I had that problem on Grinder. sucked. <laughs> yeah, well, I had, I had that problem on Match.com because they threatened me that if I didn't pay my bill, they were going to cut my balls off. And what good is Match.com if they've cut your balls off? Exactly. So, thank you very much. Yeah. I'll be here all week, ladies and gentlemen. So. Well, the only good thing about having your credit card information compromised mm -hmm. is that you close the card and then you get a new one. And those people that were using the card to automatically charge you mm -hmm. now have to send you a, an email that says hey uh you know we need a new card number and you go ah i'm not giving these guys anything right that's another way but the, but the best way is just pay for those recurring things using you to using paypal and then you yeah. just go on there and say don't do it anymore yeah, you know, really. And then they'll send you something saying, well, your bill, the thing didn't go through, blah, 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 blah. And we go, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, oh, uh, there's Brian. You know, Brian, with oh, the. Oh, Phil's on still? Yeah, with the, with the three. <laughs> I with, thought I checked my phone really quick. I didn't see you. Yeah. I saw the guy behind you. Yeah, with the free tests that are being given out by Biden, is that going to affect uh, you guys? The. Uh, they're sending out what a half a billion tests. Oh, because when when they keep getting false positives, then they're going to start testing our stuff anyway. So it doesn't matter. Hey, how do you get those? I don't even know how to get one of those free tests. I don't think it's yet. They're like forty percent accurate. So have fun. Forty <laughs> percent. Well, no, I, like you me. can pay me now, or you can pay me later. What, hey, what? Brian, forty percent accurate? That sounds like me. What's for now? The, what the fifteen <laughs> minutes or less ones? Yeah, the yeah. The home free ones that the government's going to send out. Yeah. Yeah, the quickies. The quickies? Oh, okay. I yeah. never leave the house, so I don't have to worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if if you want to go to a restaurant or you wanna, you know, go go somewhere, they're gonna hand you one of these free tests. And if you get a false positive, uh, you know, I guess they shoot you. Why did you hear that New York City yeah. is just rampant with, with the COVID now? Just crazy. You know, the, the number of cases has really ramped up in the last week or so. Yeah. We have 265,000 new cases today. It's because of the Omicron, isn't it? Yes. Well, we have the most we have the most cases of Omicron anywhere in the country here in New York City. It's it's like twice as uh you can pass it on twice as easily. Yeah. Well, is that is that a is that a blue thing? You know, you, you're in a blue state and all of a sudden Omicron is uh is running No, out. it's like Texas and Florida and we're the ones getting hit. Is the virus Republican or Democrat? I, I don't it's either. definitely Democrat. The last one was oh, okay. called Delta. I didn't get it. The last one was called Delta. Okay. Yeah. Shouldn't this one be Omega? No, that's the last one, isn't it? No. Delta was the last one. And now shouldn't this be Omega? I because thought the, Omega was the last letter of the Greek alphabet. Right. 
Well, then what's yeah. is Omicron a letter of the Greek alphabet? Yeah. Oh. yeah. It's all named after letters of the Greek alphabet. I don't know. I, yeah. never, I never heard of it, but then again, so, it's, yeah. so, it's Greek Is this to me. got to do with college Greek life? You know? They, they skipped a couple because uh, there were some political correct issues with the, uh, let's see, what's after Delta? Uh, uh, Epsilon? No, there was a couple they had. They couldn't use yeah, it because it was going to. One, one was like the president of China's name. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, they skipped that one because of, because they didn't want to name it. Yeah, I heard o Omicron scrambled up spelled moronic. <laughs> <laughs> I never checked it, but I just saw that on Facebook. Yeah, not verified. Yeah, they they had like lines to the different letters all over the place. You know who's getting the most sick from Omicron, Bill? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Who? The unvaccinated. Yeah. So who cares? Let but them die. They're all I, I, I'm with it's you okay. on that, Brian. Listen, it's okay. They're I getting agree. I agree with any Republican who says to me, I'm mm -hmm. not getting the shots. I don't believe in all of this. This is Here's the, all the, we the, say. Yeah. But they're getting please, natural please, immunity. Please do it. No, they're, they're, they if, they, if they survive, they get natural immunity. If they die, well, I guess they're immune. Yeah. Well, you don't have to worry about finding parking spaces because you don't have a car. But if they die, there's more parking spaces for me. That's my line. That's Alex's line. He used to say that in Live on the Five all the time. That's my I joke. <laughs> well, I, I actually, uh, the only uh, saint, you know, you got St. Christopher. Well, I, I like uh, St. Parker, the patron saint of parking places. And uh, it, it works for me. You I know, they have, they have apps, Bill, that yeah. you, uh, you can put on your phone, your iPhone. And when you're driving around a neighborhood, you hit the button, and it and it tells you where there are parking spaces available. And then and next year, I'll have to get rid of that app and find out which credit card is paying. That's right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh man, I'm uh, I've got, I've got uh, allergies tonight. Yeah. I don't know why, but you know I have allergies. And this is the, the symptoms of Omicron. Yeah, could could be. <clears throat> Uh, but uh, anyway. you know all those all those dead Republicans. You got to make sure they don't vote though in the next yeah. election. You that's can bet not they will problem. be. Oh yeah, that's yeah. not been a problem because they become Democrats as soon as they die. <laughs> well, so anyway. you're, you're saying that Trump's going to become a Democrat. <laughs> Trump was a Democrat. Yeah, he hey, died. He became a Republican. That's why. Yeah. That's so anyway, Shecky went on a, on a cruise, and I'm sorry, but I can't get myself to take a cruise. I um, worked on a cruise well, ship. No, but I can't do Fine. it. I just can't do it. I mean, I think those things are floating Petri dishes. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. yeah. I, when I was but, in high school, wait a minute, hold I, on a second. I worked on wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, uh, 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 Brian had his hand up. So before COVID, we had a, a trip planned. Well, we, we did one before the um, Disney Cruise. Disney Cruise is really good. But so we're doing a Norwegian new new ship. They have like a go kart track and laser tag and all this oh, stuff. So geez. I paid for the trip for us, and and then we we're supposed to go, and then COVID hit. So so I put those as credits, and those credits are expiring at the end of this year. So I just went and booked the trip. Uh, we're going there spring break April, so we'll see. But now they regenerated everything for another year, so if I want to, I can push that out. They again. have good Wi-Fi, so you can call us on the show from the ship. In in the go kart. In the go kart, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Put you guys on the front. I, I actually worked on a cruise ship when I was in high school. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we. One of my dad's accounts was Greek line ships, mm -hmm. and we used to install the carpet. We'd start mm -hmm. pulling the carpet out when they got into the port in New York. Mm -hmm. And if we weren't done installing what we had pulled out, we ended up fly, uh, going to Bermuda, and then they'd fly us back. Mm -hmm. And, you know, actually, I, I really enjoyed uh, well, what ship. I'm saying is, it, to me, they're Petri dishes, and I don't know that I feel like I want to take my life in my hands. Well, before COVID. Before COVID, just, uh, they were Petri dishes. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah, but I never got sick on it. It was called uh, viruses. Legionnaire's disease. Mm -hmm. But Legionnaire's disease, people got from air conditioning systems in high-rise buildings uh, because they, they were, you know, closed in. Do you uh, know how that, uh, why it was called Legionnaire's disease? 
uh, because yeah. there was a bunch of Legionnaires that were at a convention. That's and, right. That's where they first discovered it. Right. It's something that's actually caused by ducks and air conditioning. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. if, if it was called Legion a lot of quacks. Quacks. because there were Legionnaires quacks. going out, why don't they call, instead of calling it COVID, why don't they call it Trump? They should call it Wuhan bat disease. You know, that, you know it, it, it came from Wuhan. Uh, and they're saying that bats were the ones that uh, spread it. So, you know, maybe it should be bat, mm. a Wuhan bat disease. Hey. Hong Kong flu yeah. <laughs> So anyway, guys, uh, <laughs> any plans for Christmas? Big. Okay. Biggest, baby. Huh? My what'd you, what'd you say? What'd you say? Everybody, my what's sister's what's having everybody over. But she sends out a text today and says that her daughter-in-law, mm -hmm. who has three children that are two, five, and seven, who are not vaccinated, can't get a couple of them can't get vaccinated, mm -hmm. all have colds. But does she tell her friend to her her her, her daughter-in-law don't come to Christmas? Absolutely, no. absolutely. I know that that's the right thing to do, but that's not what she did, and so my. My roommate and I, we're not going. I'm like, that's crazy. Yeah. And she says, oh, they get tested every week. Yeah, but with what back, with, with what test? The one that's 20 or 30% accurate? That, no, but that just means that point of time during the week, they didn't have COVID. Right. Two hours that's later, right. they could have it. That's right. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I, I'll, stay, I'll stay away from them. Well, I don't think there's any, you know, I, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't go. <laughs> I'm not going either. You know, and, and, my sister and, off, and, but... and your sister should say to them, no. Yep. You know, but that's that, not the way my sister is. You know, so. No, no vaccinations. Years. What, what yeah. you, Jeff, did you want to say? In something? Connecticut, we have no testing is allowed unless you're a real risky person. What do you mean? It, 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 tell me why. Why? Because they're using up. They don't, they got too many people taking the test. They don't want to know how many cases they have. No, I think I, think I know why he's saying that. Because they want to vaccinate it, right? So I see you they got one of these, uh, Ray. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Can yeah. you hear me? Aren't they yeah, great? I've had it for quite a while. Aren't you, I got it after you got it. Aren't they great? Right you just pull them up and down. That's it. You know. Now, when you turn on, uh, you don't have, we see your green screen, Ray. We don't uh, see a background. Yeah, because I'm using my phone. Because oh. I was outside, I haven't. I'm not. I'm sitting in front of the computer, but I have my phone. Bill, you would be a lot more popular if that guy was a girl beating on somebody. Well, yeah. you know, I took some pictures. Of, Ray Ray took some pictures of the. I have a ton of them. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, awesome way. ones. Yeah. Some good events. Yeah. yeah. You know, uh, I, I was looking for the one with you up on top of the uh, on top of the cage photographing down and I, I couldn't find it yet. I'll oh, I have some of you doing that too. Yeah. yeah. I, too, I wish we were still doing that. That was fun. Yeah. All right. We're losing audience. <laughs> looks, it, looks racist. it looks racist hey, to me. Uh, don't worry about it. Racist. Ray, Ray, we lost them years ago. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay so, oh, by right. the way, Alex, uh, I'm not doing anything for Christmas, but on New Year's Day, I'm going to uh, the Buckeye in, uh, in Mill Valley. Oh, yeah. That's a nice, nice little restaurant. I, I knew you knew that one. We're doing Vegas. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember. I remember. I, the, I, the last time I was at the Buckeye, it was yeah. with uh, Daniel Steele's. Remember, you knew Daniel yeah. Steele, yeah. the writer. He lived her, in a marina. Her bodyguard. Really? Yeah, he was my bodyguard too. Mm -hmm. And I thought Bill uh, was your bodyguard. Uh, I had done something where I really pissed off Daniel Steele on the show. Yeah, uh, and uh, she uh, she was threatening all kinds of things like suing me and things like that, you know. So uh, he said, "Let's go out to dinner. Let me take you out to dinner at the Buckeye, and we'll put it on Daniel Steele's credit card." <laughs> <laughs> that was the last time I was at the Buckeye. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Not a cheap restaurant, by the way, folks. Oh no, that's why we're having lunch. <laughs> but he had a credit card he could use because, you know, he was her bodyguard, you know. So. Wow. Whatever. Awesome. Yeah. Now, one of our instructors for shooting is having an open house soup party, I, I guess. To, I have to look at, at Ray this way. 
and uh, no, no, my my phone did it. I don't know what Ray, the hell. Ray, can, you got to turn. Can I hang up and switch to my computer? Sure. Go yeah. ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. All right. Uh, uh, Alan was talking about what he's doing on uh, was it Christmas Day? New I was invited Day. to that, but I'm uh, or New Year's Day. I I'm you know I have this. Phil, Phil was invited too, but Buckeye is more important to him. Yeah, it's a tradition that I've been doing uh, for about thirty five years. Is, every uh, year at the Buckeye? No, uh, every year uh, New Year's Day, I used to have lunch with a very close friend and his and his wife. Now uh, my friend passed away a few years ago. And I've continued to uh, get together his wife. with his wife and uh, his get kid. Together with his wife? What? Yeah, <laughs> you terrible, kid. terrible person. Your friend <laughs> dies. Oh, you know, my God. And you now assumed, you're doing you assume his, the worst. Not, Off the show. You, you had your 30 minutes wife. today. They will be there. <laughs> it's terrible, but, uh, Phil. Yeah, yeah. Not, not a good friend. Yeah, well, it was a tradition of getting together on New Year's Day. Mm -hmm. and uh, of, I'm uh, never getting together with you on New Year's Day. I, I, sent, I sent Faye a dog Next thing you know, he's going to be hitting on your wife, Brett. Uh, hey, kill Brian. me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, you know, we were going to go. What's that restaurant over by Stinson Beach that's built out of a, like a 17th century pub? Oh, I uh, know that place. Yeah. We were going to go there, and I guess you couldn't get in. But uh, uh, you know, that, that's I, I nice ate there once without any problem getting in. You know, but it wasn't yeah. Christmas or New Year's. Oh, it was New Year's Day. It's New Year's Day. I don't know what they yeah. got. You know, they've got a, a hotel there with five rooms, that's and right. then they I have know this the place. Pub. I yeah. can't remember the name of it, but yeah, it's 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 right yeah. outside of Stinson Beach. Yeah, uh, um, yeah, I, I can't remember it either. Oh. Well, there's the green screen working for Ray. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there we go. There's the, the non, there's the non-insurrection. I think yeah. this is actually the best background I've ever found for my green screen. Oh, that's yeah. good. It looks real. Because it looks, looks realistic. And you got the city yeah. in back of us all lit up, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it is nice. And I've tried to take a better shot of this, but I can't take a better one. I'll be glad yeah. when that air conditioning unit is <laughs> <down>. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, that's me, <laughs> Tiger King. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, there was a <laughs> function going on at the Richmond Auditorium, and they had two tigers from Six Flags or Marine World or something. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I, I was going from the police department to the uh, to the function, which was next door, and the guy, uh, the handler, said, "You want your picture with the tiger?" So I said, "Sure." So I knelt down and I put my hand on the back of the tiger and he took the picture. Well, if I would have known now what I then what I know now, I would never have done that. <laughs> you know, <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, well, you know, it, 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 look what happened to that uh, magician. Mr. Roy or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Roy and uh, Siegfried. whatever. Siegfried. Siegfried yeah. and Roy. Yeah, that tiger yeah. was his friend and it took off his face. Yeah. <laughs> you know? No, that tiger was just waiting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, I, um, what I, then had, my, you know what I had in my radio studio at Live 105 once was, a, was a, I think it was a cougar. Really? Yeah. Uh, what was her name? <coughs> Rhonda. <laughs> Rhonda. No, but it was, I had a cougar. Rhonda. I, I literally had a cougar in the in the studio. They brought him from oh. Marine World, Africa, wow. USA. Hey, yeah, when I was younger, I met a few cougars myself, you know. And they were going, don't worry, we've got them all taken care of. They had this big chain on them and everything, you know. But and then my favorite oh, yeah. photo. There you go. There, there we <laughs> go. <laughs> yeah. I know yeah. that photo. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see, Alex, did you see, um, what's her name, the, the guy that said on the show, she's a Facebook friend. Who? Uh, yeah, it's 5,000 Facebook Kathleen. friends. Kathleen. Kathleen on Facebook posted a thing where Moody. you and her, six pictures of yeah. you and her, and said it was the best Christmas ever. Oh. Go go on Facebook oh, and look at those Christmas that, cards is, from is, Sears. Is that the yeah. one with the kids? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I publish those most years, but I stopped. I I did it in the beginning, and Marjorie got really mad at it. I, and it so I didn't put them up, and then finally one day I said, "Do you mind if I put these up? These are funny." You know what we did is we got uh, we got her 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 nephew and her niece, 
and her best friend's daughter. And we took them over to Sears and got the cheapest ass background we could find, right? And we, we took pictures of us uh, all there. They're good pictures. Yeah. And it's on her on her Facebook feed. Yeah. And it was just it was terrific, you know. And we sent them out and we said happy ho happy holidays from the Schwarzmans. Mm -hmm. And uh, people were calling us going, we didn't know you got had married. We didn't know you had kids, <laughs> you know. And and we oh yeah, yeah, those are ours, you know. And and we, one of them we just couldn't get to just sit straight. And the kid is like crying in the in the picture. It's very funny, very funny. I I, I have been told to make an announcement. Mm. The announcement like, is Adrian is coming in. Oh, okay. yay! Hey, 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 our language and now, clean. ladies and gentlemen, presenting <laughs> Adrian. <laughs> Hello, yeah, Adrian. God, she just gets older and older, doesn't she? You're an old. Oh, bag. and heavier and heavier. <laughs> What an old bag you've turned into. Yo, Adrian! Yo! Yeah, hey, you stole that one from me. I was going to do it. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's me, Rook! <laughs> I won't say nice things about her because it'll go to her head, but she's looking... <laughs> the yeah. ultimate in cuteness. What are you getting for Christmas? What do you want for Christmas? What do you want for Christmas, Adrian? Alex will buy you anything. He's He's got loads of money. Uh, yep. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Wants he's, a 34 he's very famous. What do you want? What do you want Alex to send you? Nothing? Okay. Just a hug? You want a hug from him? He has a Cepheid hat. <laughs> yes, yeah, I've got a hat. Give him an air hug. Give him an air hug. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, boy. You going to say anything else? Or you no, just but, no, what, what, what you... <laughs> I wish where Kevin were here dressed as uh, Santa. He was oh, on yeah. the other day oh, on yeah. the Monday show. He was that was on great. The Monday. Monday Santa show. Calls, calls, he called Santa. last week. Or Monday. Monday he was on the show. Yeah. Okay. Say goodbye. He was taking orders from the North Pole. <laughs> Adrian? <laughs> have, a, have, have a Merry Christmas, Adrian. Merry Christmas, Adrian. Merry Christmas, Adrian. Merry Christmas, Adrian. Look at that. Why are you looking at me? Okay, bye-bye. Merry bye -bye. Christmas. But she knows who Santa is. Uh -huh. <laughs> Okay, hey, no, you yeah. can't stay. Because <laughs> we talk about. <laughs> yeah. Adult stuff? She goes, adult stuff? You mean bad words? <laughs> uh, did she say that? Yeah, she. there's a song and it says funk. And she sings a song. She said, Daddy, that's funk. That's not the F word. It has an N, not a C. <laughs> so she knows all about that I already. Oh, yeah. 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 My when my youngest was in daycare before kindergarten, uh, she she comes up to me and she says, "Daddy, I know the difference between boys and girls." Uh oh, I, oh God! I said, What's the difference between boys and girls? She says, "Girls sit down, boys stand up." <laughs> <laughs> except in France, everyone sits down. And except when you get to be our age, we sit down. Yeah, yeah. no yeah. kidding. It's but then I have trouble getting up. Yeah. Yep. yeah, you know, have you ever used one of those toilets in Europe that is just a hole in the floor? No, in China I, I did. In yeah. China I did. I had to squat. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, well, they in China in uh, the more in, in most of the civilized toilets in in China now, mm -hmm. they have those squatting because basically they're used to doing that in China. They're yeah. squats, but they do have one toilet. In, don't if you, you have a don't you hate when you're squatting and you get a charley horse and you slip into the hole? <laughs> then you fall in and then you're all covered. Yeah, but but, yeah. but they, they do have a they do have a toilet seat. Yeah. If you have like six of the holes, you got the seventh one will be a toilet seat. Yeah. Uh, Except I, for there's no toilet paper on the seventh uh, one. I I actually had dinner one night at a place called the Sportsman's Club, which was in uh, Monaco, in uh, and mm -hmm. this. This sportsman club, I went into the bathroom, and these were the most modern bathrooms I'd ever seen. If you used it, it the toilet cleaned itself. You know, mm -hmm. the, the went oh, up, yeah. and, and uh, it did all sorts of stuff. Uh, and this is in, like, 2003 or 2002. Well, they were these, these uh, toilets in Europe that I came across, and this yeah. might be what you saw, in which you had the toilet seat, but it was covered with uh, like saran wrap or whatever right 
that's a joke. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Mm-hmm. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. And then when you flushed the toilet and got off of it, the top, the stuff that was on top of the toilet seat moved, and a new bunch of it wow. moved into place. Yeah. Oh, and that way you could recycle it. Well, you know, all the toilets I use have a little paper thing that go around the lid that says it's been sanitized for my protection. No, no you know what? I What I never got ask, was gas, those ass yeah. gaskets. Yeah. I, could yeah. you, anybody use those? Can anybody? Dr. Could, Dean oh, Adele oh. says they do nothing. They're kind I of have, like masks for COVID. I, I have mm-hmm. them at the store. And uh, occasionally, I mean, I have my own bathroom and everybody else uses a different one. Mm-hmm. But, uh, you know. They all use the oh, dirty where? one. No wonder why the guy quit. Yeah, <laughs> really. Take on my bathroom. I, I didn't you go over there. I didn't tell him I had my own bathroom. <laughs> you know, yeah. but he, he instead, knew. Of, instead of Playboy magazines, he's got magazines of carpeting and, and flooring. <laughs> I do. Next to him. I do. That's the only ones that get delivered to the store, so I stick them in this bin next to the toilet. Do you have like magazines like they have in car auto shops with of like bikini women next to cars? No, you have it for no. carpeting? No, it's like, ooh, v- new vinyl floor designs. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. wait, With wait, no, wait, like, wait, topless wait, woman laying on the floor? Uh, it's all real oh. conservative. Uh, what, what's happening oh, that's happening with Brian? Yeah, really, is, with is, is Adrian knocking on the door? Is I that what? So. Yeah, mommy came home with chocolates, and I'm not eating any chocolates right now. Oh, yeah, right. Sure. oh that's they're, right. They're we saw your Facebook what's thing. You're you losing man? weight again. Yeah, I'm losing weight again. So, Coconut, I love coconuts, so. <laughs> I love coconut, so they had the coconut chocolate, so they gave it to me because nobody else likes coconut here. But I don't like mm. chocolate. I thought I had a good coconut. thing coconut doesn't have much fat in it. <clears throat> yeah, I think it's drenched with it, right? It I is. See, I seem. I think I have a cough. I may have COVID. Just the touch oh, of the yeah. COVID. Touch I mean, all, all three kids had that that little stomach flu. Well, like two weeks ago, mm-hmm. and I mean, they, 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 you know, the schools actually did pretty good. You know, they <clears throat> even, you know, they asked what, what the symptom or why they were sick. And we mm-hmm. said, well, oh, she has a little stomach flu. She was throwing up. She said, yeah, but that's one of the symptoms we have. So you have to go get the COVID test. But they sent an email right away of where to go. We went down there and they had the results by 8 p.m. that night. And why then you just they, use one of your own canisters and take it to work. Right. right. Don't let us. So because uh, I screw my school. So then uh, they, but then they got him into school. Like Adrian was the next day, or uh, yeah, the next day she was back on Monday. She was out on Friday, mm-hmm. and then the other kids were like back. Like the next, uh, they were still sick the next day. So then the following day, uh, but they were already cleared to go back. So at least the schools are schools here are doing pretty good when they are coming through with that. So a lot of kids were getting tested though when we were there. Is that a library? And they had like nonstop kids come in there for testing. Yeah. I understand that there are lines in the bitter cold in New York of people wanting to get tested, yeah. uh, and uh, they're they're waiting four hours in, in in the cold. And isn't that what you did, Alex, on your first shot? You were you were uh, like four hours in line. Uh, we were waiting. we were about two hours in line. Yeah, but it was really cold, or something. Yeah, it was really cold. Yeah, yeah it was in February. I, I, as, I, as I that said, as I building. said to the person, as we finally went to the front of the line and were ushered in to the place where you got your shot, mm-hmm. uh, I said, you know, uh, I may not get COVID, but I sure as hell could have gotten pneumonia out oh, there. Yeah. Are you giving out pneumonia shots too? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they weren't happy with that. <laughs> they decided to give oh, me. The, they decided to give me the Johnson and Johnson. <laughs> Yeah. That's right. And a free band aid. Yeah. Yeah. The Janssen and Janssen. Yeah. Well, you know. But anyway, so uh, 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 let's see here. Uh, I, asked, I asked you the other day on the show, and you, Charlie, what you guys were doing for Christmas. And what did you say, Charlie? Not, not I, much I'm of anything. I'm watching all, every football game every day. I mean, it's like two or three games every day. So. Oh, good for you. Basketball. Uh, Boy, I can hardly wait to watch those fucking football games. They have good basketball games on too. Warriors are gonna be playing, so it's good. Hey, the Eagles looked pretty good last night. Oh, oh wait a minute, who's that? Yeah, who's yeah, they're starting to come back a little bit. Hey, no, 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 no! You gotta come in here now. Say hi, babe. Who's this? Oh, is it me? Oh, yeah. babe. Oh, she's going bathroom and go pee. Then she'll come over. <laughs> Oh, great. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, no, Eagles are playing pretty good, but, yeah, it's uh, yeah, too late, I think. Yeah. 
my fantasy football, I'm in first place, and we just went to playoffs, and I'm still leading everybody, so it's a big payday. Awesome. Yeah. Fantasy football. I never really understood that. You yeah. get who you want, and then you bet against other people, but nobody ever really plays the game? Your players play. My football team is Hogwarts. It's kind of like... It's the ultimate fantasy football. Team. It's kind of like <laughs> fantasy they, politics. Trump they changed, is president, they but not the, really. They changed the name of that game uh, in uh, 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 Rawlings, J.K. Well, Rawlings. It's called, or, it's called Wibbage, isn't it, or Cribbage? Or, something it's something like that where people have broomsticks. Yeah. They run but, around yeah, trying to hit something. Or something. No, well, they don't try they, to hit something. They fly around on broomsticks. Okay, well, They've, they're changing the name because they want to distance themselves from this J.K. Rawlings because she had come out some way against the LBGQ community, mm. and uh, and so they've changed they've changed the name. Hey, I, I, I did you see? She, she won't say she won't say trans uh, women are women. Yeah, right. She refuses yeah. to, and so they say she's transphobic. Yeah, we're talking well, now, about now. Now it's LGB. What is it? LGB. LGBTQA plus. Plus. Oh my God. That it's all inclusive. Yeah, but I, I, if it's all inclusive, I want to know what the plus is. I think they've run out of sexuality, haven't they? In just the first letter, yeah, they'll, they'll find it. Even then, there's non-sexual. It's people with plus-size bras. Like no, it used to, to be. It used to be gay and lesbian. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. And then became gay and lesbian and transsexual. Yeah. And then it became bisexual. Yeah. And then it became what? There was, there's one more. Pansexual. Pan, something. I don't know. Fluid. I, I'm just going, you know, yeah. come on. Why don't you just say sexual and leave it at that? What do you think about these guys that are dressing up like women and swimming uh, in the uh, in the competitions against them, taking all, you know, because they're stronger and bullshit, man. You think? Do you think that's bullshit, or do you? I, I think it's. I think it's wrong. Yeah. I mean, I've. Comp you, you, it's not fair. Well, you've you've done a marathon, right? I've done marathons. I've done the Ironman. I was a competitive swimmer. If you put right. guys in the water, who are uh, you know world class, mm -hmm. and turn them into women, they're going to destroy everybody. Most that, people. That's what's happening. I guess there's some Penn State swimmer. They have. That, uh, that's uh, taken all the things. Actually, he has nice legs. But uh... well, we kind of got into this discussion the other night, and I, I think that there's a good reason why why they have men's sports and women's sports, and that's simply because of the difference in the upper body strength. I'm sure there's some things women could do better, like well, they sit down and boys stand up. No, uh, no, but I mean, there's, there are things that women can do better than guys, like cook and sew. Yes, maybe. Oh, <laughs> Curling. You're lucky nobody watches the show. Yeah. Horseback riding, actually, they do really well at the, you know, the Versace, the yeah. jumping. Yeah. You know, um, I, hey Phil, one thing I'm like super right wing on is that, so we have something. I'll tell you where I'll tell you where women could probably just compete with the men is in any of the sports in the Olympics that involve rifles and things like that. Yeah. Marksmanship. Oh, what about talking? Uh, backgammon, <laughs> backgammon uh, you know, uh, Olympic backgammon. No, but what I'm saying is, wouldn't you agree that a woman could shoot as well as a guy? There's no, there's nothing about them physically that says they can't. Uh, I, I saw a video of this woman. I agree. She's been shooting for a short period of time, and she is phenomenal. If I can find it, I'll... And there's curling, you know, that thing where they push the thing, like bocce yeah. ball on ice. They're good yeah. at that. What I loved <laughs> is there was a website you could go to... <clears throat> And I used to run stuff from it on my uh, on when we had the TV show thing. Oh, yeah, the accidental discharges. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, this was a site of women with guns. Is that like oh. pre and like exactly. women with shotguns and so on? And I thought it yeah, was they blow life. themselves over. You know, they uh, those are the and these yeah. were women like wearing bikinis with big breasts, and so the yeah. back for the recoil just was great to watch. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Am I, I like being, watching if, that am I being, woman if we, shoot. Could this get me uh, in trouble here? I mean, yeah. uh, uh, oh, yeah. oh, gee, I'll never be able to work again. <laughs> Algorithm. <laughs> you can get publicity out of it, and then everybody will be watching your show. Awesome. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> but no, but but um, uh, women with guns, women, you could. 
be just as good at marksmanship, if not better. I mean, you know, I mean, it, it, it's just a matter of doing it, you know. Yeah. But when it comes that. to certain sports, uh, uh, well, we never have men, uh, you know, men and women boxing each other. Because that would just kind of go against every wonderful convention we have about not hitting a woman. You Andy know? Kaufman. Huh? Andy Kaufman. Did he take on women? He wrestled. He, well, he wrestled. wrestled. He was wrestling. Remember? Yeah. yeah There's went Phil. After, it went after Jerry Lawler. Oh, is that yeah. me? Yeah. 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 yeah you see uh, where they uh, put <laughs> the photographers? We're up on top of the, up on top of the ring. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Ray took that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. they didn't have the the hottest uh, ring girls in this league. No, no, but not, you know, <laughs> there were a couple that were all yeah. right. Well, it's better than none. <laughs> this one, she was a big hip shaker. I remember. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. They walk around with the sign. Yeah, round, one. round five. Right yeah, around. so ridiculous. I I just don't go in for those violent sports. You know, I don't it's see absurd. why two guys uh, get into a ring and beat the crap out of each other. Uh, you know, these guys have to be brain dead. You know, they're like 20, 21 years old, 22 years old. By the time they're 30, they, they probably don't know their own name. I, I, there is no way and I would ever do what these guys do. It's insane. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and they just they beat the crap out of each other. Oh, God. The blood and the freaking blood. Yeah, no broken noses. And, and, oh, you geez. know, John. Told well, this us has become MMA has become a major, major sport. I know it's like and, the gladiators. And, and you know, we thought boxing was brutal. <clears throat> well, this boxing is, is actually. I like what's on your green screen, Ray, better than what's on Phil's green screen. <laughs> yeah, I <Like>, oh. <laughs> You know, bo boxing was going down anyways. I mean, there are a lot of fights that a lot of the superstars were going were being or well, there there are a lack of superstars in boxing i used to love boxing did they say um, starting from the heavyweights and then starting mm -hmm. then it was going down to all these other guys who were retiring and pacquiao was beating everybody up and then everybody was retiring de la hoya retired and and everybody so nobody picked up you know the the torch from them the torches as and MMA start going really big time and that's just good timing for them but you know brian um boxing has had a huge resurgence Mm. It still it still makes way more money than MMA. Mm. I mean, it's just more. It, it's just permeated. Yeah, our he, these guys get lunch and eighty dollars. Oh, and, this and, this and is one of the buy yeah. an earlobe off too. This is one of the lowest promotions in the country. Dragon House. Yeah, yeah. It's nothing. Oh, yeah. Where was that at? Uh, Keysar. Yeah, Keysar. It's outdoors. We went like three or four times, right? Yeah, yeah. There's a there's an indoors area. <laughs> Uh, these are right near the park service offices. It's a basketball. It, it's court. like a basketball court. Yeah. It was a basketball court. Yeah. yeah. And uh, you know, th there was uh, there was so many movies. It was a Clint Eastwood movie that got filmed around there. Keysar. The... Key, it was shot at Keysar. Yeah. 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 Uh, you know, Dirty it, Harry. Yeah. Dirty they Harry, where he was going guy. after the guy and shooting him, and he was limping, right. a, limping across the field. Well, and... When yeah, I was growing yeah, up, yeah. when I was growing up, like Keysar Stadium was the place where all the uh, the seals played. The, the seals played. Yeah, yeah. things like put, people, uh, groups. Seals like, and you know, Croft. No, oh. the, the San Francisco <laughs> Seals <laughs> were a, a, a baseball, baseball team. The DiMaggio's played there. The the DiMaggio Bros. DiMaggio, DiMaggio. All played. Italian. Yeah. All Italian. Yep. My well, grandfather well, used to go to all the games. The reason why is San Francisco was highly Italian. I mean, yeah. I, I, yep. I was Huge. raised in North Beach. Everybody had a wine vat in their cellar. You know. Yeah. Well, they, they, well, they were making vinegar. Yeah. You know, the... The, the uh, admission, too. Yeah. I, I grew up in the mission. It now was I all Italians everywhere. I can't remember. Uh, uh, Irish. Oakland, Oakland, the Oakland. Irish were really big in what's now called the Castro. Yeah. The, the, the Irish in San Francisco, the Irish neighborhood is now the Castro. Mm -hmm. But, it, you know... But Sorry. when I grew up, there was the San Francisco Seals, and there were the Oakland o Oaks. Oakland Oaks. Oh, yeah, yeah, the Oakland Oaks. Did the did the Forty Niners uh, originally play at Keysar? Uh, mm. Yes, they did. Did they? Yes. Yeah. Okay. My my uncle had season tickets there, and then they transferred over to Candlestick. Yeah. Yeah. And he had on the fifty yard line. He had him for. Didn't years. The, didn't the Giants also originally play at Keysar? The Giants originally. No. 
No, no, the Seals did. The Giants no, where, came. Where do the 49ers play now? No, wait, yeah, the Giants, when they came Down over, they went Lions to Kiza. House. Uh, 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 what, uh, it used to be, it's called Levi Park. Levi Stadium. Levi Stadium and, and Santa, Santa Clara. Is it San, San, Santa Clara? No. Okay. Yeah. And Santa what happened Clara, to Can yeah. They tore down Candlestick. Right? <clears throat> yeah, it's gone. Yep, yeah, it's gone. gone. Building condos in the fog. Yes. At first, it was so strange to look over there and not see it. Not see it. That's <laughs> yeah, bizarre. Yeah. Uh, now, on 101, does it still say Candlestick Park exit? Yeah, they still call it Candlestick something. Yeah, it says Candlestick something. I think it's an expressway or I'm not sure. It takes you right into Hunter's Point. Yeah, that every, would be bad. Every, you would leave. For, for instance, uh, Jeff and Mike and Mike uh, and Charlie are just riveted to this they discussion right now. Because one, two, three, four of the people on the panel tonight are all in the San Francisco Bay Area. Yeah. Well, wow. We're very close. Like an hour away, I think, mm. is the furthest me from Phil, I think. Do you yeah. know, it's funny, but the, the majority of the people who watch my show or seem to be on my show are from the Bay Area. Mm. Well, we miss you. Extreme well, we miss there. you, Alan. And, and in New York, the people that, that uh, knew you from New York, none of them are alive anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that could be true. Hey, watch it. Well, you know, think about it. <laughs> WMCA, what, in 68? Uh, you, uh, PLJ, when did you leave there? 73? PLJ. Well, no, I left PLJ in 75. 75. Yeah. So that's, uh, 45 years ago. Yeah, they're all dead. Yeah. And, you know, they were 20 when, or 15 to 20 when they were listening to you. So, you know, they're, they're dead. Yeah. <laughs> You know? Now, I get a few people on the Monday show who are, who are from New York, the New York area. Oh, yeah. I get more New York people actually on that show than I do. Yeah, but they weren't show. listening to you in the in the uh, 30s and 40s, were they? Or 1939. How could be a... Can you turn off when, Alan's audio? When I build up, want to build up my self-esteem, I always put Alan on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, Alan on. Yeah, right. Oh, no. <laughs> the, next, the next one. Well, uh, hey, think somebody I'm mentioned gonna... Hunter's Point, and that was Candlestick. Candlestick Park, they had like a big hill, and they had the bay, and there was one, there was like only one way in or out or on each side of that. And if you got in the traffic when you're leaving and they moved you, like the security guys, and you got to one of those lanes, you would not go to 101, but you would go to Hunter's Point. Yeah. And Hunter's Point is not a friendly place. No. For, like, yeah. It takes like two hours to get through there. <laughs> it's also yeah, very high game. crime. You remember the earthquake at the third game of the uh, uh, World, World Series? Uh, yes, against series. the A's. Yeah. I, I was there, and I was coming out Whoa. of the park. You know, everybody I talked to was there during I the was earthquake. It. I wasn't there. I do I remember. And I don't believe yeah. any of you. Okay? Three million people. I wasn't <laughs> there. Three million I people had, were there. I had my sister. I gave her my ticket and my, um, uh, what do you call it? My ticket and my program mm -hmm. to give to her son. And uh, I uh, had her take a picture of it. She framed it. And I had her take a picture of it. A picture of a ticket. That's really helpful. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's I'm the sure that's day. worth a lot right now. <laughs> yeah. The third thing was there. Uh, here it is. Put it on eBay, your picture of a ticket. Yeah. So, that's a good, oh, yeah, there, yeah. There's, there it is. Well, that's, that's, the that's, a, that's a good reason that everybody's watching right now is just for that moment. You could have downloaded that from the Internet, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see that? Well, my sister had it framed. Okay, oh, Phil. Where's the picture? You're a camera guy. Where's your picture from being there? I didn't take a camera. The people, you know, that was film error. Usually was, people have pictures of their girlfriends on their iPhones, but no, he's showing us tickets. Yeah, well, it's, you know, my, so it, all I'm saying is when the earthquake happened and we decided to leave the stadium, we ended up going through Hunter's Point. Uh, to try and get out of there, and it mm -hmm. took hours to to get I, to the I, marina. I where saw the, the video of the. Film are are you through with that, that boring movie? story, Phil? Uh, yeah. He, okay. He good. was the first one out the door of the, of the stadium, yelling. Ah! Yeah, because we're through here. <laughs> hey, yeah. listen, uh, we have one more show this week. That's tomorrow night. Hope you'll all, all right. be here for it. Merry Phil. Christmas. Phil, yeah. good having you on. Thank you so Happy much, Hanukkah. Uh, Alan. Thank you, uh, Charlie, and. Jeff and uh, Brian, and what are you trying to do? Stick something in your eye? 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I and of course, Ray Renati, always nice to have you here. Hey, everybody, uh, give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye at you. Okay. There they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's our uh, citizen panel. Hold on a second. Let me get rid of them here. Uh, there we go. They're all gone. Okay. And we're here. And, you know, we finally figured out what went wrong. And now we're, why we're in sync. Well, anyway. Hey, listen. Tomorrow, one more show. Then it's off for the new year. We're off next week. Uh, and uh, Jack is next with The Intersection. I'll see you tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. Okay? And by the way, very important thing. If you're not vaccinated, please get vaccinated. If not, wear one of those masks. And I'll see you again tomorrow night. Bye-bye, everybody.